Emergency Shutdown This module focuses on the Emergency Shutdown ESD system, a critical safety mechanism in well-testing operations. It begins by outlining the applications and benefits of ESD systems in protecting personnel, equipment, and the environment. The module explains the principle behind ESD functionality, highlighting how it ensures rapid response during abnormal or hazardous conditions. Learners will also explore the key features of ESD systems, as well as the components that make up an ESD setup, including ESD stations and ESD pilots. By the end of this module, participants will understand the essential role ESD systems play in enhancing operational safety and response efficiency. The Emergency Shutdown ESD system is designed to safely shut in the well in the event of an upset condition arising during well testing operations, such as leak, failure, or an overpressure in downstream equipment, and any other well emergency requiring an immediate shutdown. Let's take a look at the applications and benefits of this system. Applications This system is suitable for both onshore and offshore operations. It's designed to handle high pressure and high temperature operations making it ideal for the most demanding environments. It plays a key role in oil and gas well testing and cleanup operations, ensuring efficient and safe processes. Additionally, it is used for flow back after stimulation operations and workovers. Benefits. It features a single action fail-safe system, a crucial element when working in high-risk conditions. Most importantly, it's built to protect both personnel and equipment, emphasizing safety and reliability on-site. ESD Principle The ESD system controls the flowline valve actuator and, if necessary, an additional surface safety valve located upstream of the choke manifold. The ESD panel controls hydraulic pressure to the actuated flowline safety valve on the flow head or surface test tree and or an additional surface safety valve upstream of the choke manifold. An ESD is triggered by manual initiation of a remote ESD station or automatically by sensors that are linked through a low-pressure pneumatic circuit on the well test package. Additional push-pull button stations can be located, for example, at the steam heat exchanger, separator, gauge tank, and burner pedestals. The ESD system can be complemented by high or low-level alarms. The ESD pilots initiate well closure when the pressure rises above a high level threshold, perhaps due to choke plugging, or falls below a low level threshold due to flowline leakage. The Well Test Emergency Shutdown ESD, allows remote closing of a flowline valve should quick closure be necessary due to pipe leak or burst, separator malfunction, fire, etc. The system is suitable for connection to the actuated flowhead valve or any other single action, fail-safe, hydraulic actuated valve. The equipment consists of a pneumatic console, which pressurizes the various pneumatic and hydraulic circuits, push-pull shutdown stations, and in some instances, high-low pressure pilots. In an emergency, either the pressure pilots or the manual ESD stations release the air pressure in the system. The hydraulic circuit is then bled off by the interface valve in the console, and the fail-safe valve closes. ESD features. The ESD system features a hydraulic valves, a flowhead flowline actuator valve, or a surface safety valve, maximum oil pressure 6,000 PSI, high or low pilots, an automatic sensors linked through a low pressure, 30 PSI, pneumatic circuit, designed to initiate well closure when the pressure rises above or falls below a set threshold, stations, a manual push or pull button stations, 30 PSI, located at different predetermined locations, and an ESD panel, composed of hydraulic pump, hydraulic oil tank, air vessel, 150 PSI, interface valve, check valve, quick exhaust valve, reset valve, and bypass valve. The ESD system includes an ESD control skid composed of a pump, a hydraulic tank, an air reservoir, and at least three hose reels. The first hose reel contains 20 meters of high pressure hose for a shutdown valve actuator. The other two reels each contain 90 meters of low pressure hose for connecting the push-pull button stations. 
The ESD actuator system is designed for use with any single action, fail-safe actuator, provided required hydraulic pressure, does not exceed 6,000 PSI. ESD stations. ESD stations are typically located at the separator, the steam heat exchanger, and the surge tank. A minimum of two stations are required, one located at the separator, and the second one located in a safe area. Additional station may be located at the rig floor, on escape routes, and near the lab cabin. ESD pilots. High or low pressure pilots can be provided with the ESD system. These pilots are installed on the flow line to automatically close the actuated flow line valve in the flow head or the surface safety valve. Pilots are designed to protect equipment and installations against abnormal pressures. ESD pilots are commonly located on the flow line at the data header, low and high pilots, on the inlet of the separator, high pilot, and on the steam exchanger to control vessel pressure, high pilot. When pressure is increasing, the high pilot is activated. These sensors will initiate well closure when the process pressure either rises above a high level due to a blockage or falls below a low level due to flow line rupture or leak. The levels are preset prior to operations depending on known or anticipated well parameters. The change in system process pressure activates a pressure pilot and the air pressure in the ESD pneumatic circuit is bled off. High pilot. If the pilot senses the flow line pressure is below the preset value, fixed by the adjustable spring force, air supply pressure is retained between the pilot and the interface valve in the console. Hydraulic pressure from the pump is allowed to go to the hydraulic actuator, keeping the shutdown valve open. When the flow line pressure rises above the preset spring value, air is bled off at the pilot, the interface valve vents the hydraulic pressure from the actuator, and the shutdown valve closes. Low pilot. If the pilot senses the flow line pressure is above the preset value, fixed by the adjustable spring force, air supply pressure is retained between the pilot and the interface valve in the console. Hydraulic pressure from the pump is allowed to go to the hydraulic actuator, keeping the shutdown valve open. When the flow line pressure falls below the preset spring value, air is bled off at the pilot, the interface valve vents the hydraulic pressure from the actuator, and the shutdown valve closes. Thanks so much for watching. That wraps up today's presentation. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. See you in the next video.